There's a rivalry heating up out of Bristol with former Heisman Trophy winner and Super Bowl MVP Desmond Howard beefing with colleague Paul Feinbaum. As we know, it wouldn't be the first time Feinbaum has been caught up in it. Paul Feinbaum is a caricature of a caricature of Paul Feinbaum. Like, that's what he is right now. You can't even take anything he says seriously. You just can't. It's like they march him out there, they pull the string in his back, and he just starts spewing negative things about Michigan. It, so, I mean, when a person does that repeatedly mm-hmm. and you just know his shtick, you just you can't take him seriously. You just take him for what he is. And um, that's that's how I look at Paul Feinbaum. Howard is, of course, referring to Feinbaum's comments about his alma mater, the University of Michigan. Howard would also rip another colleague of his, ESPN College Football insider, Pete Thamel. So we've been doing this 12, 13 weeks. He's always been in the crowd giving his reports. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is Pete in the stadium for? I like, don't know. I, I, that kind of just threw me all off. Like, put your big boy pants on, do it in the crowd like you yeah. normally do it. Howard would then be rebuked by host Reese Davis. Look, so, he's, he's, gotten from guys, the lunar, he's gotten from the lunatic fringe some yeah. threats. We're just taking care of it. That's security. All. We'd be okay. Yeah. Yeah. These guys are nice out here. These are nice fans. They're not going to do anything. It only takes one. Yeah, That's all. Yeah. No, no, we'd be okay. Thamel had been receiving death threats for his reporting on the Wolverines. The comment, let's be objective here, was tone deaf. Still, Howard keeps firing. I was on um, on Get Up. Yeah. Last Friday, yeah. and I was on with Five Bomb, mm-hmm. and um, they wanted to talk about the FSU, and you know if they, you know, even if they ran the table with Alabama, jumped them, or with Tuck, Texas, and blah blah blah. And because he was in the airport, he had to leave. We couldn't get into like a, a, a discussion because I wanted to talk to him about Ohio State because I had told Paul, I said, listen, first of all, on game day when this first when this story first broke broke, and we were on the set. And everybody's talking about this and talking about that. I say, you know what, guys? I said, if there's a, a, a silver lining to all this, I said, moving forward, there are no more excuses. Uh, it's kind of funny, Des, because when it first came out, he thought it was a witch hunt on Harbaugh. He actually said he those did. words. He yep. said the words that it was a witch hunt on Harbaugh. What is this thing? And then, I don't know, he must have learned something or to, to kind of flip the script. And now it's... Yeah. Uh, so just get ready, get ready because it's SEC versus Harbaugh and Michigan now, and now yeah. like this is it. Like it's it's the lone SEC team left. That's his part of the country. On three would write Howard is likely going to defend Michigan no matter what. Winning the Heisman Trophy there as a player in 1991, he and Feinbaum will likely disagree on the upcoming Rose Bowl, where the top-ranked Wolverines will face off against Alabama for a spot in the College Football Playoff National Championship. Via SI, Howard also recounted the list of teams Michigan had to defeat when the sign-stealing scandal caught steam during the first week of November, despite the allegations from the scandal. The Wolverines won their final four games, including wins against Penn State, that was at Penn State, and Ohio State in the game before defeating the Hawkeyes in the Big Ten Championship on Saturday. That's the main thing. Is Desmond Howard always going to show this blind loyalty to his alma mater? Yeah. Just like Bart Scott can't say a bad thing about the New York Jets on ESPN. Just like J.J. Reddick won't badmouth anybody that he has a strong connection with in the league. It's just not going to happen. Now, the bigger question for all of you, who was right in this situation? Did Paul Feinbaum go overboard? Or is Desmond Howard just being a homer? That's up to you.